Holy cow, road trip. Am I going to Missouri for cigarettes? Maybe, maybe not. My story, I'm sticking to it. Small towns in Iowa. This is Bloomfield. Only about 3,000 people here, but nothing like the small towns in Iowa. Now, I noticed something over here. I'll get to it in a minute. This is pretty interesting and different. Look at that. Horse and buggy. The horse is not real, by the way. The horse is not real. Green hay. Inching across the byway. Iowa Welcome Center. And, well, that is extremely interesting. Ah, South Pole. North Pole. Ah. That's all different cities, even Chicago, even Boston. Oh, look at the little bitty scooter. Oh, I need something like that. Anyway, this, this is Bloomfield. Might gotta, might do a couple more things here. We'll have to see. Motorcycle gang? Who knows? That's not what I wanted to film here. I saw this across the, across the highway. I gotta watch this vehicle. Okay. That is the biggest rooster I have ever seen. Wow, that is a big rooster. Wow. Well, that would really get you a lot of eggs. I remember when I was a kid before Dairy Queen and all these other, somebody was honking at me or honking at somebody else. I remember when I was a kid, a lot of these little bitty ice cream shops, like before Dairy Queen came into existence, he said a lot of these little places that you don't see much nowadays. Like this. It's, it's just regularly called ice cream, ice cream shop. And I've seen pictures of the 50s and 60s, and that's what it reminds me of. It's just a little bitty place. I don't think they're open anymore. I don't think they're open. I think they're closed. Yeah, they're closed. Uh, but, see? Just a little bitty ice cream place here. Motorcycles, very loud. You don't see many of little places like this anymore, just ice cream shops. And it's sort of refreshing to see something from yesteryear. Probably be the last thing I film here in um, Bloomfield to met their courthouse. And I like this, I really like that. Thank you veterans for our freedom, for our freedom. And the sun's sort of glaring, sun's glaring on it, but I think you can you can see it and here is their courthouse pretty good size courthouse for a small town it's got three floors see the clock tower up there and the statue there we go look at that wow i don't want to go in that position too long but that could really hurt your your neck and then notice across the street is um the old style movie theaters. The old style before they started putting in these bigger movie theaters. See? Very small movie theater. Oh, nothing like small towns in Iowa, or anywhere for that fact. This is outside, this is inside to the outside, horse and buggy. You'll see it coming by here pretty quickly. Here it comes. There it goes. Right there in the background. Don't see many of those in a Tomwa. Well, for anybody going to Missouri, keep, keep a watch out on the road work. This is what you have to put up with at least twice. See the stoplight? This is in the, I'm, I'm on a video, I'm sorry. This is in the middle of the highway. 
and you have to sit here and wait until it's your turn to go and this can take a couple minutes so a stoplight and on a highway you don't hear that very often has it turned green yet Been almost a minute and you can't go or you'd be breaking the wall you can't see the I can't see it because I'm in the back, but there it is. See, now it's green. So anybody going from Iowa to Missouri, just be on the watch out for road work. Sometimes you see stuff that has no thought process. This is on the old highway, Highway 63, and you have red shit, basically. It's from, from, has like, you know, muffins and peaches and stuff like that. You know, mainly produce. Are you ready for the name? I don't think you are. The Red Shed. No thought process, whatever, whatever. They could have come with something really catchy, and nope. They just called it the Red Shed. You might be a redneck if you have a Jeep with a canoe on the top. No, I'm not making up yet. Yep, we have a canoe on the top. So you might be a redneck. Um, I'm incredibly sorry that this is one of my shortest outdoor videos ever. I didn't really have a lot of time. My ride was in a rush. It was just a speed run to Missouri and back. We went up there and back in one hour, not an exaggeration. So I didn't really have a lot of time. I wanted to do more, but just they were in a hurry, or he was in a hurry. So I'm sorry the video is so so short, but next one will be longer. I promise you that. And if you like my video, please subscribe. And that's all for now.